it's time for day two of the One Bass Arizona Open out here on Lake Havasu. The weather should be a lot different today. It should be a little bit um, calmer, a little bit warmer, but not by a whole lot. Um, but the fishing's supposed to be even tougher. Um, this lake seems to get tougher day by day with all the pressure. So um, it's gonna be another grind out here today. Yesterday was pretty rough, only weighed in one fish. Um, there's a lot of people that only weighed one, two, and a lot of people even blanked. And um, it's just, it's really tough fishing out here. The guys that caught them, caught them. And some guys caught them really good, um, which is pretty typical for tournament fishing. But um, I got my work cut out for me. If I can figure out a way to scratch out a limit, it's really gonna um, boost me pretty far. Um, a check isn't completely out of the question, um, but I gotta um, catch some fish today for sure or else it will be out of the question. So um, hopefully I can uh, get some fish in the boat today. So we're gonna go get this boat launched and uh, wait for our norm to get called and then head out and uh, start working our way um, to hopefully getting a limit today. All right, we just got in the water and waiting for my co-angler to park the truck and meet me back at the dock and then we're gonna be floating around until our number gets called and then it's game time and it's time to go fishing and trying to figure out these Havasu largemouth and smallmouth. It's been difficult, but we're gonna keep grinding away, try to see if we can figure something out. We're going out in opposite order. Boat 173 will be first, down to boat one. Tomorrow, your flights will be based on your position. They haven't eaten by now. They ain't gonna. <laughs> yeah, so I went out. My batteries weren't charging. And uh, they blew a breaker at the hotel. So I luckily was able to find out that the batteries weren't charging and then I called Billy because there's a dude there's like five of us all they got affected by it and um, one of the guys I saw out there and I said hey dude check your batteries because they're probably not charging and then one guy had a wrap boat with his name on the side of it and uh, I called Billy and told him the name and uh, I, I'm, it looked like he was able to get a hold of those guys. That's what I like. I like the colors of it. Yeah. The one I have, same brand, but yellow. That almost looks like a bed right there. Not going up there. You see it? It's not a fish on a bed, but. Like a fresh one. I just can't believe there's like no fish like that you've I've spooked or anything. And there's another one. There was a couple beds in here. All right, last cast, and then we'll. Keep on trucking. 
Let's go. because when I set the hook it was in the cage when I set the hook I felt it bumping everything so I don't know if it hit something and it felt like the bite uh, I think I got bit it's broken Well, another brutally tough day out here on Lake Havasu. I literally got one bite today and it broke me off inside of the cage that they have planted out here. There's a lot of man-made structure that gets dumped in the lake out here and a lot of them are called cages. They literally look like boxes on your sonar and stuff like that and a lot of the good ones um, live in those cages and um, thrown, a, thrown a drop shot and got bit in that cage and it broke me off like nothing as soon as I went to set the hook and reel that fish in it was it broke off and there was no chance of me catching it there's nothing I could do it just broke me off but now it's time to go weigh in my co-angler did catch one small mouth um, a good one but that's that's all we got I literally I think I got one bite all day today one and it broke me off so it is what it is uh, another tough day Well, there it is, another brutally tough day out on Lake Havasu chasing these largemouth and smallmouth bass. Um, I, I don't really know what to say. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Um, I'm fishing shallow. I'm fishing deep. I'm fishing points. I'm fishing secondary points. I'm fishing reaction baits. I'm fishing slow. I'm fishing finesse. I, I'm fishing everything that I can think of, and um, it's not working. Um, I'm not I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. I don't really know what I can do different in order to catch these fish I don't know if I'm just not hitting enough spots and uh, not putting um, my baits in enough areas um, To get those bites. I'm not I'm not exactly sure um, It's also really hard to feel like I'm putting out um, Quality videos for you guys when I'm not catching fish, but this is the reality of, of my tournament experiences um there's days where I don't catch one. Um, my co-angler did catch a really good uh, smallmouth today. 3.63 three, uh, was the weight on it today. I didn't go up um, on stage with him. I let him take that fish up on stage. He caught it. He can go weigh it in, and um, that's it. Um, day two's in the books, and uh, tomorrow I'm just trying to go learn, trying to figure out how to get a couple bites, and... Um, get a couple of fish in the boat and just trying to improve. Um, I've been out here for a while, still can't figure it out. So I got one more day of fishing, one more tournament day um, where I can try to, uh, I guess, seek my revenge on some of these fish and hopefully get some bites and get some fish in the boat. So we're gonna fish hard for one more day and then we got a long ride home, but um, we're getting back out there in the morning and gonna fish hard for eight hours or however long our day is. Um, I don't know what flight I am. I'm probably third, fourth flight, 3.30, 3.45 weigh-in, I'm guessing. 
that's all based on our position in the standings and I'm well down there. But good day tomorrow will bring me up. I don't think I have a chance to cash this check, but I can get some pride points out of the whole deal. So I hope you uh, enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe to the channel. If you did, give me a thumbs up and drop a comment down below and stay tuned for day three coming tomorrow. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.